Let's delve into these Houston Astros trade rumors. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The League. Your host is always Harley Dugan. Different hat on, got the Astros World Series patch on. Look, they might be, they might be a little shaky. They might be a little shaky. But I got no doubt in my Houston Astros. I have no doubt whatsoever. But that's for a different topic of conversation for another day. Because right now we got, the rumors are swirling. We got Michael Schwab at it again, sending out a tweet that the Houston Astros could be looking and keeping tabs and swirling around on Justin Bieber. Shane Bieber. Cleveland Guardians, we just saw him throw seven innings, pitch, zero earned runs. That was a disgusting lineup, too, by the way, but we're not going to get into Dusty's lineups. Ass. We're getting into Shane Bieber and what I ultimately believe the Houston Astros could be grabbing an arm, and that is what Dana Brown mentioned explicitly on MLB Tonight or MLB, some show on MLB today or tonight, I don't know, the channel that has the MLB network, something across the lines, okay, you get the point, Shane Bieber is the guy to be looking at for the Houston Astros, I'm telling that you right now, Shane Bieber is the guy to be looking at if you're a Houston Astros fan, I deeply believe that the Astros are in love with him, I do think that this is a move that transcends this pitching staff this pitching rotation because you don't know what the hell you're going to get out of a Lance McCullers if and if he comes back this year. I'm not expecting it. I don't expect him to be back this year. I'm writing him off until he does come back, let's say somewhere in September. And that would be very I would be very upset about that too. But Shane Bieber creates a legitimate second option guy. What he can do here in Houston, sprinkling that pixie dust over the pitchers. We fixed many people before. Garrett Cole was a piece of crap and came here with the Houston Astros and became all world. Got his contract as a person of represents himself with the New York Yankees. Went up there, has became a piece of crap up there again. And now the Houston Astros could get a Shane Bieber and fans would be excited. This is a move that you have to take a chance on. You have to do it because the window for the World Series, as much as it's still open for the Astros, this season just feels a little different. And Shane Bieber added onto the staff puts me, puts fans actually, because I'm not tripping, puts fans back into a state of relaxation. I understand the frustrations. We're used to winning. Fran Valdez, Shane Bieber, Christian Javier, or flip Javier and Shane Bieber. I'll have Javier second, Bieber third, Hunter Brown fourth. Now I'm getting excited. Now I'm getting giddy. Now I'm getting ecstatic about the future of the pitching rotation because I do believe these Astros can fix Shane Bieber. I think it's just a matter of time when and how what will be given up for the Houston Astros in terms of prospects? That is the ultimate question at the end of the day. Will it be a Corey Jokes, Jake Myers, Chaz McCormick, one of them three from your main roster, adding maybe a Justin Durden? The Guardians are going to want someone that is a win now kind of person, ready to win now. Uh, they can move forward with immediately, all right? And then you look at the rest of the minor league uh, there's not a lot to pull from, but the Houston Astros, they do got some pieces down there that the Guardians would be interested in. Don't believe everything. I understand we got the 27 ranked minor league system. If our minor league system is so goddamn bad, then how come I got Corey Jokes doing what he's doing? How come I got JP France doing what he's doing? I've seen it many, many times. That minor league system seems to be always so lowly ranked, but it does not matter because the Houston Astros are the best team in baseball, and you know it. As always, guys, go Astros, go Rockets, go Texans. You yeah, have a blessed day.